Yep, I chopped all my hair off because I'm sick of brushing it and getting 50,000 tangles. Or, as other people would call it, because I'm lazy. Yep. March wrap up and my April TBR. Now last month I read like a grand total of like one book. This month I fared a little bit better but still things are kind of so-so for me on my book reading this year. I don't know why. Well I do know why but it's just like it's really like ugh. Like I feel like if you ever look at your bookshelf, your bookshelf that you have tons and tons of awesome books that you have not read and you just look at it and you say there's nothing to read. I'm like, what? Look at all these books that you need to read. And I'm like, I know, but like, I'm just not in the mood to read any on my shelf. It's really weird. Like, it's odd. I had a grand total of four books this month, so that's pretty good. One book I actually planned to read, and the other three books I just randomly read. The first book that I planned to read was Panic by Lauren Oliver, and I've read this, and I will have a review coming up soon. I really like this. Um, Lauren Oliver also wrote the Delirium trilogy, which I love wasn't super in love with the last book but I did love this book it is a standalone which is which is a breath of fresh air because sometimes in YA we get stuck in contemporaries and series but this is like one and done so um this was this was really good it's about a girl named Heather my name is Heather too in case you're unfamiliar with that um, and she played the, the her high school seniors played this, this deadly game called Panic and the winner gets like $60,000 and it's all about that. I really, really liked it. Um, the review was very intensive about it so I would definitely check it out. I gave it a 4 out of 5 because I enjoyed it. Now the next three books I read were actually from NetGalley. If you guys are unfamiliar with NetGalley, I have a whole video about it which you can click right here. NetGalley is a site where they offer like kind of arcs and stuff and you can request to get them and sometimes they will accept you, sometimes not. <laughs> anyway, if you're a NetGalley user, I'm sure you're familiar with going on there and just clicking request, request, request. That's what I've been doing a lot lately. And I got a proof for a lot of them and I was like, oh, yeah, I have to read these and review them. Whoops. So I read three of them that um, I'm going to put reviews on the next guy, I think, soon. But the three I read were, one was YA and two were new adult, I think. I don't know. I'm in like this spring contemporary love phase so I'm trying to read my heart to my heart's content. The first one I read was Deep Blue by Jules Barnett. This is part of the Blue series and I don't know if it's like the second or third. I found with contemporaries if you haven't read the first one you're not gonna miss that much because they're just used to take place with completely different characters. Anyway, this one was good. A girl named Callie who lives in Lake Tahoe. She goes there for the summer and she's everything's great and she's with a perfect boyfriend. She's got a job and then her boyfriend breaks up with her and she meets this guy or she reconnects with this guy that was like her brother's friend, I believe. Yeah, it was, it's really, it's okay. It wasn't like, like, it takes a lot for me to really fall in love with a new adult. Contemporary, I'm a little bit easier on for YA genre, but for new adult, I'm a little bit harsher because I like to see, depict realness. And this one was okay. The love was kind of like, boom. And I gave it a three out of five. It was okay. If you're looking for a new adult, I would maybe suggest it. One is Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover and this is my first Colleen Hoover book and I've heard tons and tons of things about Colleen Hoover books like she writes the best romance and all this stuff and I gotta say I just liked this one. Now, now a lot of people loved this book. I think the average rating on Goodreads right now is 4.50. I gave it a 3. Um, like I said it takes a lot to impress me for new adult which is bad I guess. I don't know. Anyway, it's about a girl named Sydney who also has a good life and she lives with her roommate Tori and then her, um, her boyfriend is great and then she figures out that and then her neighbor across the way like he's like on a balcony and she's on a balcony and he plays guitar all the time and she really admires him and goes outside every night to listen to him. Anyway, he catches, you know, her boyfriend and her roommate together. <laughs> it's in the description so I'm not ruining anything. Um, he finds them cheating on each other, she lets him know and then he, she kind of moves in with the neighbor. And a love thing happens, but the catch is, is um, the neighbor, which is Ridge, I'm awful at describing things today, is that um, he has a girlfriend and she's like an amazing girlfriend, but he still has feelings for her. 
what I really didn't like about this book is that everything was like picture perfect. Like Ridge's girlfriend was perfect and Sydney was a great girl. So you're like, Colleen Hoover wrote it well that you're not like hating anybody in the book. But still, I was like, I felt I had this weird feeling reading the book. I was like, this is just a weird situation. But I liked it. I didn't love it, sad to say. I'm sure a lot of you guys have read it and loved it. But I don't know. It was just weird for me to read it. Like I felt weird the whole time reading it. So I gave it three. Sorry. <laughs> the last book I read was a YA book and it was called Catch a Falling Star by Kim Culbertson. And this one I actually really liked a lot. It was about a girl that lives in a small town. Call me crazy, but I am a sucker for reading anything about a girl in a small town. Hence Sarah Dessen. Hello. <laughs> um, but anyway, she lives in a small town and she works for her parents like sandwich shop and her brother's got a little bit of a, like a problem, like a gambling problem. And then in comes in this Hollywood place because they're deciding to film a Christmas movie in the middle of summer, which I guess is technically how it's done. So enter this movie star Adam. He's a 17 year old guy. He's had bad, bad press about him and car wrecks and all that stuff. And he's looking to change his image for good. Now Carter, the main protagonist, the girl of this situation, is offered a job to like portray his girlfriend as like the good girl, small town girl. And you know, it's gonna be offered some money that she needs for her brother. So it's just a PR stunt and then of course things happen obviously I'm not spoiling anything by that thank you get that but it was really good I liked the way it was it was kind of like a quiet small town book which I love reading those I've shows Gilmore Girls and I think if anybody that loves Gilmore Girls really loves that kind of small town vibe while watching something or reading something like everyone knows each other so I really love books like that maybe that's why I felt so captivated and in love with it oh I really liked it I would highly recommend it I do not know the release date I will leave all the information for that below to the book depository link so you can figure it out for yourself but I would highly recommend reading this I will maybe do a review on it when it actually comes out anyway I give it a four now on to the books I plan to read for April I do not have any of the physical copies yet for these books because they are all coming out in April <laughs> um these are not in order of the dates they come out these are just my April releases that are coming out <laughs> um but yeah so I'm reading I think about five or six and the majority of them are contemporary Ugh, some of you like cringe when I say that word but I love contemporary I really do I can read a book like that's I can read a contemporary book in like freaking three hours like I'm like done sorry if my eyes look a little blurry I just sneeze like three times anyway the first book I plan to read and the one I'm probably most excited about is What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick and the reason why I'm so excited about it is last year I read this beauty of a book My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick and I loved it. Um, I don't think this next one is a sequel. I'm not too sure. But this one, oh my gosh. If I, whenever somebody asks me for a contemporary novel and I'm trying to be recent, I will usually recommend, um, recommend this one. I love it. And the cover. I don't know what this one is about. Um, I will leave the link down below. But I highly recommend even pre-ordering this because that's what I'm going to do um, because I love My Life Next Door so much. And if you haven't read Huntley Fitzpatrick, um, go get My Life Next Door right now. Next book I plan to read is Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Del 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 Delaria. This one comes out, I think, April 1st, so hopefully I will have it very, very soon, if not already. Um, this book is, I guess it's the contemporary, I would say, on the darker side. It's about a girl named Laurel who receives an English assignment to write a letter to um, to a dead person. So she chooses Kurt Cobain and chooses to write Kurt Cobain because her sister May, who died, loved him so much. And soon she begins to write more letters, like letters to like Amelia Earhart, Amy Winehouse, Janis Joplin, Heath Ledger. And she never gives her teacher a single one of them, probably the other one in her assignment, but it just helps her to like kind of cope with everything. And it's about her like I think she starts to cope with like what happened to her sister and you start to like figure out more so I am highly anticipated this one I think all these books I'm mentioning were all my most anticipated books of 2014 which I will link right there if you want to check it out but I am so stoked to read this one this one is Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page I am so excited for this one I just saw the book trailer for this the other day I will link it with the book right here if you want to check it out I loved it usually I'm not a fan of book trailers but this one I loved this one is about a girl named i don't know sometimes not dorothy because i was dorothy must die <laughs> a girl named amy who was the other girl from kansas and she gets an assignment from i guess like people and she her assignment is to remove the tin man's 
the tin the tin woodman's heart steal the scarecrow's brain takes the lion's courage and then only dorothy must die and you're like why why these people are all good well apparently since dorothy took over oz she got a little bit power hungry and <laughs> everything is just like kind of crazy and falling apart and, like no one is safe there so i am so excited to read this i mean I think a lot of people love The Wizard of Oz and this is kind of a different twist on it where you're like, die Dorothy. And so it'll be really cool to see it, to not see it, to read it. But it would be a really cool movie, just saying. The next one is Dear Killer by Katherine Ewell and this is about a 16 year old girl that is pretty much, she, her job is to kill people. People will give her money and stuff and she is like a hitman. So it's interesting to see that. She actually chooses who to murder based on letters left in her secret mailbox. And she's perfect at what she does. But then she she has like no moral compass or she doesn't really like believe in right and wrong which makes her job a lot easier. But then she befriends someone that she's supposed to kill. So dun dun dun! Things are gonna get real interesting really quick. Next one is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. So many amazing books in April. Now if you haven't read Jenny Han before she wrote the Summer I Turned Pretty series which is a great contemporary series and she also co-wrote um, Burn for Burn series which I read the first book of which is pretty good. This one is about a girl who has had a lot of crushes in her life like probably all girls and every time she has a crush she writes that person a letter about how she feels and all that stuff and then she puts the letter in a box and puts it under her bed and you're like oh it's all done and then she comes home one day and that box is open and all the letters are gone. So that means they've been shipped out to those people and you know things are probably gonna happen soon like hey girl why'd you like me and never said that you did like me we could have been together or like what are you thinking you are crazy we would never work out anyway i love jenny han and i'm super excited to read this one last one i may or may not buy i'm not too sure because i'm not a huge fan of this author it is the geography of you and me by jennifer e smith if you're unfamiliar with her she has wrote um the statistical probability of love at first sight and the happiness between you and me while I while I adore the covers for these books, I'm not a huge fan of them. Like I'm just ugh. like the first one I thought was gonna be great it was about two strangers meeting on a plane and like how the probability of love works. And I was like, it was okay. And the next one I was really excited about because it was like a teenage version of You've Got Mail, and I love You've Got Mail. And that one was kind of a downfall for me. This one is about two um, teenagers that meet Lucy and Owen. I think a romance strikes up, but then they have to like move and like live really like I think across the globe from each other but they still stay in touch through postcards and stuff hence geography between you and me so uh, I'm like thinking maybe I'll read it depends on my funds for this month honestly but we'll see I would like to read it I just don't want to own it because I just didn't love the first two but I don't want to get rid of those books because the covers are so freaking amazing anyway that is all for me sorry if you guys are in participating in the Sarah Doesn't Book Club. I'm kind of taking a hiatus from that right now because of personal things going on as well as like my Harry Potter reread. Well, hopefully by May I will get my junk together. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Otherwise, um, please let me know down in the comments which books you read in March and what books are you planning to read in April? Are you planning to read some of the same books I am? Hint, hint. Molly Fitzpatrick, you gotta read it. <laughs> and see you guys next time. Bye.